so I'm going to make it easy for myself and just watch this one thing today. I know there was a lot yesterday, and and I fully realize that. And and the days that there are so many things to do, you just gotta you gotta pick and choose. You gotta pick and choose. And I'm gonna go with the highest rated gap here, and I don't think we could rate any higher. And uh, no, it does have enough volume. Okay. If for some reason WDC doesn't set up, I guess I'll fix it. Volume is coming in now. Uh, market market's finally over 115 in the QQQs and got well over it last night. And Google did gap up. I wasn't I didn't know what you said in the room about the Google. It, 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 I don't know I don't know what this will be worth today. I couldn't take a chance. And and I do believe this holds the gap in Amazon too. Amazon is very very good. Um, and I'm going to give a little lecture today when we're done. And I don't think we'll be trading late. As the market's bullish. So I think we just go right all the way up to the high. And I did predict that. I predicted it. No pullback. Who would have thought? I mean, that was, I don't even know how I see this stuff. I, I honestly don't. And I, I'm not even going to question it anymore. And in fact, that's one of the things I'm going to talk about today. Uh, but I did the right thing getting out. It could go over 800, but who the heck knows what the option will be worth. It expires today. Couldn't take a chance. This one did go over 800. I didn't have this one. I had the other one. Tom thought I had this, and he was all excited texting me. It was at 8.12 last night, but I did not have the other one. I don't see where this is at. Yeah, it was at 8.20. Crazy. Win, I like, but a WDC is better. This will not have a small stop. It will be a medium to large stop. I would figure 50 cents or 60 cents. No, it's just perfect. Any questions? Can I have an easy day today? You got three minutes. How's everybody doing? I close out the month strong. Get ready for August. There's a lot in August too. What do you mean is it for sure? <laughs> I'm not in the trade. It has to set up. I don't know what you mean by for sure. Is that a rating system? <laughs> Maybe that could be a new, well, I did come up with this, the, the SAC Swiss, uh, I did come up with a new little system I'm going to roll out here. I, I got to do that this weekend. That, that's cute though, for sure. Is it for sure? I got to write that down. Maybe I can do something with that. This is what I'm watching as my best option. Yes. Ew. Look at the spread in that now. That's not what I wanted to see. <laughs> I actually did come up with a rating system. I don't want to get distracted here now that I'm going to use for television, which is, is it's not going to be the 26 points, but it's going to be something fun. Are you for sure taking it? Because if you're for sure taking it, then I'm going to risk all the money that I have in my bank account. I need to make a million dollars today. <laughs> If this is for sure, I'm throwing every dime that I own in. <laughs> if it's not for sure, then I can't. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing that's for sure. Whether I win or lose, or I'm in a good mood or a bad mood, 
I am a darn good entertaining person to listen to. I'll tell you that. I could be in the crappiest mood of the world and I'm still entertaining. And that's for sure. All right, let's focus. Good luck, everyone. And it doesn't set up today for sure. Then I'll flip to FTNT. No, modesty is not a quality that I have. And that's for sure. <laughs> modesty doesn't make it as a trader. Modesty doesn't make it in television. All right, 51 is holding. <gasps> this is my swoosh. Don't do anything yet. Hold on, it just dropped a dollar. Hello. Uh, spread is 15 cents. No one should be in this yet. It's just dropping. Let it go. Wow. All right. I'm not, you can't do anything with this yet. And this is, looks like it's a for sure. <laughs> Here, it's going to break 50. You can't take it on the first bar, though. Wait for the setup. I don't want to do one minute low on this, though, I think, with the stop. Okay, so I'm going to probably give this a 10 cent cushion because of the because of the spread. I don't love the entry yet. I don't want to stop. I don't love anything. No, it didn't break 50. I am not going to do this. The one minute low you could do two by 5110. Two by 5110, and and I'm going to wait for this to push back. But who the heck knows? And it didn't it didn't hit yet. Wait, now the spread's widened up even more. Now it's widened up a lot. There it goes. There it goes. I'm really going to try to wait for a pushback because I don't want to do a dollar ten stop in this, but there it goes. It just broke. Did anyone do it? Yep, this is swishing. There it is. I mean, it basically swished in the first bar, and now it definitely is. Look, here it goes. I never thought it set up like this. Hold on, let me look at the market. Market's higher. You can go. You can go long aggressively in the market today. And put the stop under the low. Go long the market if you want to trade really, really fast. This didn't do anything. This does not look right here at all. What did this one do? It's sitting here like a dead animal. Okay. Look, this just did swish. Crap. I hope it doesn't go right all the way down the target and be done. There you go. Earning season, another swoosh. Wow. You're up one R if you did it here. And I just, I knew this was swishing here. And then I said, yeah, but we're going to wait for the right entry. Look at that. Yep. There it goes. All right. <gasps> so we're still going to take it, but, you know, obviously I just didn't do that. I never thought this would do that though today. Well, I picked the right thing that's going to work. Look! <gasps> Did anyone do it? I think it just dropped $2 from that, and it wouldn't have made any sense to do that at all. No sense at all. $1.50. And if you did, get out. And we'll do the right entry. Look at that. All right, I'm going to reconfigure some targets here. Just hold on. Forty. I'll just be patient. And if you did that, we're still going to do it. I mean, no, it's not done. Look at this. Oh, I can I pick them? MDCA, I saw it didn't look like it even went. Oh, I lost out the wrong thing. Yep. Well, I think this has more going on in it. I'm just going to stick with this one for now. This did not get to really the full on target yet. That that's I I can only concentrate on one thing at a time. Here, if you did do that one minute low, you better get out. I told you to get out like five minutes ago, anyways. Here.
Is it still going too? This never set up right. Don't do anything with it. And wind looked like it was flipping. This might set up. You should be. You could be long the market. Oh, that was a wild tail. Okay, right in the room if you did do that. I gave you the call, but honestly, it I knew it really switched in the first bar. So I said, let's just wait. And and the stop was big, but this is a little while now. I guess nobody did because nobody's writing anything. this sets up right for us. I'm tempted to do it here, but I'm really going to follow my rules today. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait and do the right thing for what I know. And this was a wild bar, so I'm not here. Just wait. Let's do 99 by 75, 99 by 75, 99 by 75, and I don't know if this hits. Just follow me here. 99 by 75, and this isn't a big stop either. I mean, this isn't a small stop. Wait, 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 that didn't hit. All right, we might get something better. Hold on. It's not going to be much better. Ninety nine by seventy five is valid if it hits. No, we're going to do all two by seventy five. It's not going to make much difference. I can't look at Google right now. Oh, two by seventy five. Okay, wait, we might actually get a we might actually get something much, much better than this. Just relax. No, that's not gonna hit. Stop. No one should be in it. And if you did this, you should be out. The stop's still gonna be 75. We're gonna get a better entry here. So originally I had what did I say? 60 cents today. Okay, let's do 10 by 75. 10 by 75. 10 by 75. WDC, this is it, if it hits, and if it holds 75, hold on. Nope, 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 that's off, you gotta wait, just wait. Okay, it's gonna be, we're gonna have to put it at 90. Yeah. We're gonna, stop is gonna be 90, I don't have the entry, I don't have the entry at all, but the stop is gonna be 90. Unless this keeps rallying. Nope, it's going to be different than that. Just wait. Just wait, 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 wait. This is why I didn't jump right into it after the tail. Stop is going to have to be over 50 now. Crap. 50, 50. No, let's do 49.95. 49.95. 49.95. I don't, I don't even have the entry yet. Stop is going to be forty nine ninety five. Just roughly size yourself for sixty some cents. Stop is going to be forty nine ninety five. Let's do forty by ninety five. Forty by ninety five. Forty by ninety five. WDC. This is it, and it has to hit here. Forty by ninety five. That 
this isn't done. It's got five more minutes. I don't want to take this up to 945. I can't rally back for any more than that. Forty by ninety five is still valid. Nope. Gosh darn it. No, nope, that's off too. You just have to wait. And this is why I didn't jump right back into it. Stop's gonna be fifty, fifty, fifteen. Fifty fifteen, if this goes over fifty, I don't I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it. Fifty fifteen is a stop and I don't have the entry. Everything I gave it keeps changing. No one should be in it yet. Please hold fifty, don't go over fifty. Sixty five by fifty fifteen. Sixty five by fifty fifteen. No. Uh, no, that's off. Crap. What was the other one? I'm not even in anything. Here, this pushback, it hasn't set up and that might be done. You can go along the market. No, nothing's setting up. All right, I, I'll keep watching this, but I, I just can't go over the tail. That's for one thing. This didn't go to the target though. 50, 20. 5025, 65 by 5025. This just keeps rallying. No one should be in this at all. I called the one minute low. I didn't do it. It didn't make any sense, but it actually was profitable. And now I'm waiting for the right entry here. I'm being patient. I'm so glad we didn't do this here. It looks it looks good after the tail, but it can't go over this tail. And it's it's hovering, it's hovering with it. I don't like that. I don't like it at all. 50. I can't even give you any numbers. It's just not holding. Just wait. No one should be doing anything at all. And the other one rallied up too. Let's just see what happens here. Fifty, 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 fifty. It's this is not going to be small. We're going to put the stop at fifty, fifty, and I have no idea what the entry is going to be. It's too whippy. And I'm not, I'm not doing this right in here, so just wait. In fact, I'm going to wait for the two minutes. Let's do 65. 65 by 50. Yeah, this is just way bigger than I thought. It's not any better here now in the second entry than the first one. 65 by 50, 65 by 50. See, so no one should be in this yet. Just follow me today. It still should drop $2. Okay, 65 by 50. In fact, let's do 75 by 50. Let's take it in the break of 75. 75 by 50. No, 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 no. Just wait. Here, 75 by 50. Oh, no, I didn't get it. That's it, though. Wait, hold on. Here, I didn't, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Did anyone get it? I, I did not get it at all. I moved my hand off my keyboard and I didn't get the trade. Did, did anyone get it? I'm not in it. Wow, this is back over 50 again? This is, this is wild, people. Screw this. Hold on, let me go to the other one. Gosh darn it. I didn't, I didn't get it. I didn't get it and it's just crazy wild. I just don't even want to deal with it anymore. Let's just see if maybe we can do something in this. Just, 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 I just want to see if I can get something today. All right. And it should be on the market. Talk about it and talk about it and talk about it and talking about it. Talking about it. Okay. 
I, this is just wild. I did not do it. You could be in it right at the stop where I told you. It's just unbelievably wild. So I'm going to see if this one maybe has any more room in it. I just have to think in my mind here now if this is even worth doing. Let me just look at the chart. I think I'm going to pass on WEC. It's hard to believe, but the first time straight just was the smoothest one, really. It's not that it's not going to work, but it's just very wild. Okay, I'm going to do a trade in this FTNT. FTNT. Stop's going to be 3410. I'm going to do 75 by 10 FTNT. This is a short 75 by 10. And if you're in the other one, just fine. 75 by 10 to see if this breaks. FTNT short. Let's just see if I can get something today. Although you could be long the market. Seventy-five by ten. It's not a bad stop. Thirty-three is the target. This is late, but Don't jump the gun on this either. You have to manage WDC on your own if you're in it. Oh, it didn't break again yet. Okay, 74 by 3410. FTNT short. I'm going to take it if it breaks. If it doesn't, I'm not doing anything today. Click on the market. Uh, of course, this broke. That did break down again. MDCA, I didn't do it. I thought it might be done with the target. I'm just going to keep watching this one for now. MDCA though just broke. It's too late to take it though. I'm not sure if that goes back down below the day. If you did do that on your own, just scalp it. This is an interesting day. If you did do this, stop should be 1410, 1410 or 1405. It's just it's too late to take it now. But you could have done this. This would have been aggressive. 72 by 10. 72 by 10, you could have done this through the MBCA. I actually thought this was done, but this did just drop hard. It dropped hard in here. I mean, this is actually funny. This just dropped really, really hard, and it's still going. But I, I think it only comes down in here to 13. I would scalp it if you did it. No, this isn't going to work either. Give me any other ideas. Is there anything else to do? I've got nothing today. I've got nothing today, and this is still holding. Wait. All right, 
right now I'm back looking at the Let's do the same entry as I said before. 75 by 50 is one of them. I gave 50 entries on this. 75 by 50, I am going to do this. 75 by 50 WDC. It's holding. Some of you are already in it. I missed it. It broke hard. 75 by 50 WDC. FTNT is in breaking. The other one, NDCA, already fell hard. 75 by 50. This is just not a uh, small one. Later it gets, the harder it is to do anything. Okay, 75 by 50. One shot here in WDC. If it sets up, it, 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 it just it did the first time. I didn't get it. It hit quick. I'm still within here, but haven't haven't taken anything yet. NDCA though looks like it's rolling over. Here. Come on, here, get it, get it, get it, get it, get the stuff in, get the stuff in. This is it, 50 50. This is it. All right. Gee, what is up with this? It is just breaking way. Every time it breaks, it breaks fast. It's a good sign. In fact, you know what? We're going to lower the stop. Just hold on a minute. We're not putting it at 50 anymore. 35, 35 for this, 35 for WDC, 35. It shouldn't go over that area too wild. 35. 35. And you got to be in it now. And you could have been in it before. And I wasn't even going to do this then. Let's look at the market quick. This is going. This is going. And I almost thought about scalping it and trying to cheat the stop, but that would have been the wrong thing to do. And this, here, this I'm not cheating the stop, but the bottom line is that it shouldn't go over this and it isn't. So here we go. Here, 49. I'm going to, this is very, very late. I'm out of half at 49 if it doesn't break it. Do whatever you want. It's This is crazy late to take a trade. In fact, let's... Oh, let's just watch 10 o'clock. In fact, we have to watch the number and the time of the day. So this did do it. It, it did do it. It did do it, and I almost didn't want to do it then, but... All right, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. This never set up right. This still looks fine. This looks like a piece of crap. Now we gotta wait. All right, let's just review it. For those of you that are back here, I still would put the stop at 35. I wouldn't have it over 50 anymore. There's no way in the face of the planet this should go anywhere over this level. It just shouldn't. So you got to look to get out of some here. I don't know why this is taking so long. 
the fact that the market market is strong. We're gonna have to be patient now. Just be a little bit of patient, and there's there's nothing else to do. Try to break fifty. Here it goes. Here, under 50, she gets to go right on down. Second break at 50, or fourth or fifth. Here, yes, 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 yes. All right, I'm not going to talk. And I'm almost inclined to get out of the whole thing wherever it drops in one more big bar because it's just late. Five more minutes at 10 o'clock. Here, here, pay attention, and then we'll just, here. I don't think there's anything else to do unless you're in the other one here. Wow, oh, I almost didn't do that the second time. Actually, it's the third time. We did the one minute low. Here it goes. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this is, this is gonna work. I even think this breaks the low, but I don't know if it does right away. So that's the problem. Here. Even if I just scout something today, it doesn't matter. It actually doesn't even matter. This is way bigger of a stop than I thought it would be, though. Here. Do whatever you want with this. It's wild. It's whippy. It's wooly. It was a big stop. Get out where you want. In fact, I am going to I don't want this to push back at 10 o'clock. That's what I do not want to happen. This is the least favorite looking things that I like to look of a 15 minute chart. This is the least favorite of anything that I like to look in my 15 minute chart of configuration. If I had to draw my favorite or worst chart, this would be the least. It's working, it's selling off, but this is the least of the looks of anything that I even like to look at for the 15 minutes. It's very hard to play. And this is, look at this. Not smooth. I knew this was a good gap today, but I honestly never thought it would swoosh. If I thought it'd have that kind of move, I probably maybe would have done it. But I really thought we'd get a better stop. It didn't didn't matter. First entry, second entry, third, tenth. This was very wild today. So here we go. Here it goes. It's got to get under 25. We might actually get this down to the low right away because it's it's uh, not going right this second here. I 
SRCL, I'll have to look at that later. Okay, let's just look at everything in the world. Yep, it was good I get out of this. Although this is a long and it's not a fade and people are trying to fade it. They try to fade it here, they try to fade it here, they try to fade it here, this is a long. What is the price of the option at today? Can somebody look it up and just tell me, just so I can feel good about myself while I'm falling asleep in this? Five by 15, I give myself a round of applause. <laughs> I called my old broker today and I, uh, or yesterday, no, I emailed her. I emailed her, I emailed her my P&L and I, there, here, WDC. And she's like, oh my gosh, you actually took all your profits. Here, WDC. <laughs> You actually took all the money out. Here. <laughs> you actually wanted the money. For real. Here, 16. <laughs> I don't have to pay attention. 10.01. Oh, I really think this goes down below today now. What should we do? Trader Lexi just made her first Cash, 240 bucks. Good for you. Take it and run. 16. That'll buy a steak dinner. Two steak dinners in Pennsylvania. Here we go. Under 20. Actually, I did, I did buy, actually, the most expensive bottle of wine that I ever bought for myself to drink alone yesterday. I went to the liquor store and bought myself wine to celebrate. I'm like, what's the most expensive Chardonnay that you have here? The, and the best. Here, here it goes, WDC. All right, I'm holding my breath again. Every time you hear me hold my breath, tell me to breathe. 49 <laughs> Oh, this is gonna go. This is gonna keep going. It's gonna keep going. Try to try to hold it. Here it goes. Under forty nine ten. Here it goes. Here, 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 here. There it goes. Yay. Here we are. Okay, this is it. My hand is on the button soon. I'm just going to take the whole thing, but you can honestly do whatever you want. It probably goes to 48. Probably. Probably is not for sure. <laughs> Whoever asked that was Ron. Probably. Probably is not for sure. Okay, I'm really taking it soon. Do whatever you want, though. Yeah. Here. There, I'm out, I'm out. Do whatever you want, do whatever you want. I can't hold it anymore. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I had a good week, I had a good day, I've had a good life. That's it. Do whatever you want. I don't have the patience. 10 out 3. Do whatever you want. <laughs> No, Ron, I think it's funny. I, I I think it's hilarious. I love that you said that. I absolutely love that you said that. No, and you won't hear the end of it because it's funny. Here, do whatever you want. I just took it. Just look at the market. Well, look, the market's falling here. Market's falling, actually. So, here. If you're still in it, fine. Still in it, you got to get the break for the low of the day, but... I really wasn't certain of the time and it's just so late. So, so late and it's Friday and, but it's still going. And you do have the market with you now. Who's in what? Who's in what with this? Who's in anything? Who's in what? I'm out. I'm done. You could still be in half of it. I would definitely take some of this here. I would definitely take some of this here. 
I was going to initially get out of half and hold the rest, and I, it's just too late. Too, too, too late. Shower fingers out. Anybody else? What I don't want to have happen, and I'm just, I'm just cautioning you, I don't want to have this. This thing here, I don't want to happen to me or you or anyone here. And I know it happened here, and it shouldn't happen again, but it's not for sure. <laughs> it's not for sure that this couldn't happen again. It's too wild. Gene is out of it. Okay. So I'm telling you, get out of half the profit. Trader Lexi took the whole thing in this bar. I waited a little teeny weeny bit more, but don't let something like this happen because it could. Good trade. Good trade. Unfortunately, the stock was just big, but that's life. Here, 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 here. All right, I'm gonna take a five minute coffee break. Paul, Paul, what did you do? Paul, get on and talk about what you did yesterday in the trade you finished up and then I'm gonna give a lecture. I'm gonna get a coffee, then I'm gonna come back. Those of you that are in this, you gotta be out of half. If it doesn't break the low, I take the whole thing. 48 is the target, you got the market with you. Paul's gonna finish up about his trade, then I'm gonna get on and do a lecture and we'll go over today's trade and then we're gonna call it a week. Okay, out half, very good. Here, 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 for those of you that are still in it. 59 below. Here. Look, of course, it's just going to keep going now that I got it. But you, you have the market with you now. All right, I'm going to I'm gonna just stay right here, get a cup of coffee. Paul's going to talk, then I'll come back on. I'm going to give a little lecture. I'm done. Okay.
I see. Still going, didn't break the low today, it looks fine. If you wanna put the stop, you can put the stop if you're still in it and you'd be out of it with money at 49.05. Just put it over that little tiny five minutes. Let's see if it breaks and if it doesn't, be done. So the, I'm gonna tell you something that happened to me earlier in the week. I'm gonna tell you a story, okay? So I'm just gonna lecture for a little bit here. I had, you know, an interesting week. I um, had to go to court on Tuesday and I got up in the morning and I got ready and I was trying to decide what to wear. Should I dress up? Should I dress down? Whatever. Anyways, I, I decided to go half and half. So I decided to wear these earrings. They were nice earrings. They were Jaworski earrings and I don't even know if they were real gold or not. They weren't crazy expensive, but I liked the earrings and they were professional looking and there were hoops and I and I went to put them on. I went to put them on, and I thought, and I went to, I went to put them on, and I thought these backings aren't that strong. I'm probably, I thought to myself in my mind that I was going to lose them, that I was going to lose one of them because the backings weren't strong. I thought if I wear these, if I wear these, I'm, I think I, I had a feeling I was going to lose the earring, one of the earrings that day. But I thought, you know what? It's good luck. I'm going to wear these for good luck, and I'm going to wear these for good luck today in court. <laughs> Anyways, bottom line is that I went and da, 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 long story, not going to get into that now. Ended up having to go back. Now I have to go back in October. But when I came home and I got undressed, here, look, this is breaking the low. I, lo and behold, one of the earrings was gone. In fact, what was so weird is that the backing of the earring was stuck in my ear. And then I thought, oh my gosh, maybe it just fell out right now. And I scoured my whole apartment. Then I went out in the hall. Then I went in the elevator. Then I went in the lobby. Then I went down to the room where I had sent a fax right before I came up. And I wasn't going to go out on 42nd Street to look on the street. And I could have lost it at the courthouse. These were not the million dollar earrings. No, my gosh, I never would have worn them. But they, they, they were not cheap, but they weren't expensive. But they were, they were just pretty earrings. It's symbolic, though. This is why I'm telling you the story. And I just thought, this is so weird. This is so weird. I knew that I was going to lose the earring in the morning. I chose to wear them anyway. Okay. Now just listen to the point I'm trying to make. If these are the things. I mean, there, if I, if someone actually did take my life, it would be a reality show, and it probably would be very interesting. I don't want to be known for that. So I'm going to talk about the market in a show. But the bottom line is that. I, I thought all afternoon then, this is, there's, what is the lesson to be learned from this? There's a lesson to be learned from this. And then I was kind of mad at myself for, for wearing the earrings. I was mad at myself for wearing the earrings, which is silly, okay, because they weren't a million dollars. But, but I was more mad at myself and for thinking that I didn't listen to myself. I told myself, I, I knew that I was going to lose them. And then I thought, wait a minute, did I create that reality of losing the earrings? Did I manifest the loss of the earring or did I know that I would lose the earring? Now, just listen to what I'm saying. So all day long then, this is Tuesday, I was thinking, did I, did I know that I was going to, did I see into the future and know that I was going to lose the earring or did I manifest the loss of the earring itself? I thought about this all day. I thought, what is the lesson to be learned here? Okay. I cannot tell you how much that this relates to trading and the way that I trade. Trader Lexi said it sounds like something she would do exactly. Yeah. And this, this, this is so relatable to trading. This is so relatable to, to you people to help you with your trading and actually other things too. It's just that, it's just that I'm very, I, I analyze everything all the time. What I'm thinking, what's going on, whatever. I'm a very analytical person. Probably things like this happen to you. You just don't notice it and you let it just run through your brain or, or your day or you're just distracted by so many things. But here, WDC just broke the low. If you're still in it, write it on down. Write it on down, 48 the target. But you literally should have your hand on the button. You could bar by bar trail this in the one-minute chart. This is, this is a good call. This is a good call. Woo, look at that. Um, there it goes. Here, it's going to get down to 48. Could even break it. Ron's still in part of it. That was a nice trade. Uh, so the point, though, is, though, that I thought about this all day. And then I thought about it, and the conclusion I came to is what? Does anyone want to guess what the conclusion that I came to then? 
Does anyone want to guess what the conclusion then, what is to be gained from that experience? Does anyone want to guess? What would you, what would you, if that happened to you, I know there's men in here, but if that happened to you, what would you, what would you think of that? Trader Lexi said, listen to yourself in the beginning. Yes, that sounds good. What else? Go by your gut feeling. Your first instinct is usually the right one. Anybody else? Those are all good things. It really is so important to listen to your intuition. Cautious while trading. No, that's not the lesson. Cautious while trading is not the lesson. It's listen to your intuition. Listen to yourself. Listen to your intuition. That's the, that's the, that is the, that is the lesson. It's listen to your intuition. That is number one. Number one, without a shadow of a doubt, listen to your intuition. Okay. But what I'm saying to you is though that the, uh, the, the big part where I was trying to wrap my head around it was, did I know that I would lose the earring or did I manifest that to happen? Okay. So the number one thing is yes, absolutely without a shadow of a doubt, listen to your intuition. I am amazing at doing at that. This is how I can trade, okay? But I will tell you that I don't always do it. But I'm really, really getting much better at it. Now, and this year, at this point in my life, I'm stronger than ever on every level that I've ever been in my life. And I listen to my intuition more now than I have at any point in my life prior to this year. But, but I... You know, you have to constantly be in awareness of that. Everyone has days where you don't have a good day and you're not. But I'm telling you there was something above and beyond listening to your intuition that I was that I was thinking about, which was, did I manifest the loss of the earring? Did I create it being lost? Or did I know that I would lose it? Okay. Ashley's saying when well, you lost the earring with your intuition about the future, it happens to you while doing a job. You feel like you lose something right away if you'll you'll retrieve it. I will tell you that the conclusion that I came to is that it doesn't matter. Now just listen to what I'm have, I'm going to say here. This, this is very important. The conclusion after thinking all day, trying to decide if I manifested the loss of the earring or if I knew it would happen is that it doesn't matter. That I knew that it would or it was going to happen. So here's the thing. If you know that something's going to happen, you can you have choice. So you know that something's going to happen, okay? Because you know that something's going to happen or that you could create it to happen. Either way, you make a decision accordingly. Okay, so I made the decision to wear the earring. Let's just say I knew I was going to lose it. Okay, I wore it anyways. I wanted the good luck to take to the court, and I wore the earring fully knowing that I was going to lose it. That's okay. That's okay. It served a purpose for me to go to court and lose the earring. So what I'm saying to you is that in the end, it doesn't matter. If we create things to happen or know that they're going to happen, either way, in the moment that we know ahead of time, we have choice. And that is how, then, you can make correct decisions for yourself. So if there was no wrong choice because it wasn't a million-dollar airing, I needed the luck in court, but I'm telling you that it was interesting because I thought about it all day. Did I create the loss of the airing or, or, or did I know that it would happen? It doesn't matter because if I know that something's going to happen or I know that I can create it, either way, I know the outcome. Therefore, my choice will be based on what I do based on that knowing or creating. Is anything I'm saying making any sense? This is actually very important. 
Yeah. The thing, the only thing that's, you know, that, that, that is uh, very interesting when I think about trading is that, you know, I have this thing, I say this thing, I say 100% conviction. I say I have 100% conviction and no chance of failure that this spy will make a brand new all-time high and it did do it this year. But I had no idea the exact date and time that that would occur. I was way off, okay? Way, way off. Other things happened and things happened that no one could predict, okay? Or I couldn't predict anyway. But I was focused on this, not the world events. I was focused on the price action, the chart. So if you know something, you can make choices based on that if you know for sure. You can manifest things to happen too. It's all the same. But when there's things that you don't know that may happen, you have to make choices accordingly. And part of that, that's your intuition, your gut, or whatever somebody said earlier, is knowing that. And being and making the choice and actually making a conscious decision. It's a conscious decision. So you can know that you're going to lose the earring. You can know without a shot of a doubt, 100% conviction and no chance of failure that Google is going to gap up on the earnings. And that's exactly what it did, by the way. Okay. But you have to make a conscious decision if you are willing to risk the possibility of, not, of, of losing $12,000 in profit and the $3,000 that you risked in the trade to make the possibility of what would have been realistically, let's just say, and target of 810. If it had gapped up to 800, it would have held the gap over the high and ran up to 810. I would have made $50,000 minus the cost. Okay. So it was a conscious decision then to exit the trade. That is something that I have not done in prior ones and is so, so, so conscious of it. And in the moment that I that I decided to wear the earring, I was not conscious that I actually knew that I was going to lose it. But now I know. And now I know because my intuition is at such a heightened state at this point in my life. But the reality is it doesn't matter. There's two things going on. The conscious decision that you make when you find out your intuition tells you something, your intuition tells you, and then you also manifest it. You're going to hear drilling now because they just started working on the apartment across the hall. They drilled all afternoon yesterday. Can you hear that? It's worse than it was when it was upstairs. It's going to go on for another week. I called about it. But that's, uh, yeah, it's, it's so bad. It's so bad. I, I just blasted the TV all day. Blasted the TV all day. Can you believe it? They're right across the hall. It's worse. It was worse than when it was above me on this on the on this floor of the one above me. I said, I, I can't I can't believe this. And I just laughed and laughed and laughed it off. There's nothing I can do. It sounds like it's actually in my apartment. That sounds like it's happening right next to me. That's how loud it is. It's across the hall. Terrible. Anyways, the point though is it's a terrible sound. It's a terrible sound. I'm going to blast the TV as soon as I get off here. No, I can't. I have stuff to do that. Anyways, luckily I got the lecture out before the drilling started. But the point I'm trying to make, though, is that think about what I said. Think about what I said. Listen to your intuition. And if you don't know what I mean and you're not used to listening to yourself, then just start. Just start. You have to start somewhere. You have to start listening to yourself at some point in your life. It's your gut. And if you don't follow it, you have to start. It doesn't mean that, that every time something won't work out the way that you want to. And that goes back to the point I was saying about the Google. You can still make a conscious decision not knowing the outcome of something for the future. We're lucky he didn't start earlier. I was actually lucky that he didn't start earlier while we were trading. Anyways, good lecture day, good week. Does anyone have any questions? Good trade today in WDC. Everyone should be out though. I gotta go, I gotta turn the TV on loud. All right, have a good day. Have a good day.
I'll see you all next week. And if you're interested in the class, email me.